Hashtag. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapa local man or international. What am I Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo because here's a countdown you shouldn't miss the new normal you can't resist. What are we waiting for? Let's set it up with number 10. Okay, so there's this Russian crew of a movie shot in space. What? Yes, and now they're back on Earth. Well, how does it feel like filming in outer space? What? Well... As in going out there for heaven's sake and doing an actual film and not just a green wall or any special effects. Ding, ding, ding. That was the experience of a lifetime that happened to Russian actress Yulia Pereslid, producer director Klim Shipenko, and cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky. So they have just returned to Earth after filming in the International Space Station. Ding, ding, ding. The movie they shot is entitled The Challenge. Well, uh, challenge talaga yun. <laughs> I don't know what is, but yeah, that is a challenge, isn't it? So, guys, it's about a surgeon who was sent to ISS to treat a cosmonaut. And they literally made the first movie that was shot in space. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, huh? Hollywood. Anyway, guys, the shoot lasted for 12 days. And Yulia said in interviews that she had wanted it to last even more. The stars would stay in Russian Star City for post-recovery before they shoot. The other scenes of the film here on Earth. Let's watch out for the release date. But yeah, noise for the film. That's a PR. <laughs> Being the Ricardo's trailer is out. Ding, ding, ding. All right, Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem are the tandem to watch out for in Being the Ricardo's by Amazon, which will premiere in December. This is a biopic of I Love Lucy stars and couple Lucia Ball and Desi Arnaz. The two will be in a situation wherein they could end their careers or their marriage. Being the Ricardos is written and directed by Aaron Sorkin, who is known for directing Trial of the Chicago 7 and more. Let's check out the trailer, courtesy of Amazon. I am the biggest asset in the portfolio of the Columbia Broadcasting System. Quiet, please. The biggest asset in the portfolio of Philip Morris Tobacco Westinghouse. Roll sound. Let's do our show. I get paid a fortune to do exactly what I love doing. Um, they got their money's work. Pictures up. I work side by side with my husband, who is genuinely impressed by me. And all I have to do to keep it is kill oh. for 36 weeks in a row. Okay, let's go. And then do it again the next year. You know, I did this show so Desi and I could be together. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the show! And action! I had no idea it was going to be a hit. Okay, this just in. Will Harry Styles play Thana's brother? What? Ding, ding, ding. I didn't even know he had a brother. But anyway, I'm going to tell you right now. There are stories circulating that Harry Styles is preparing to be part of the Ma Marvel Cinematic Universe. What? But is he really joining the MCU? <laughs> According to the American Entertainment site, Harry was revealed as the new member of the MCU. He will be playing as Eros, brother of Thanos. Looks like it's for us to find out if Harry would really be in that Marvel movie very, very soon. But they are doing some really interesting castings. And with that, I'm going to number seven. <laughs> OMG, Eternal Star skips an event after exposure to COVID-19. <laughs> Stars of Eternals named Angelina Jolie, Salma Hayek, Gemma Chan, and Lauren Ridloff were pulled out in an event of Elle magazine's 2021 Women in Hollywood. <laughs> They found out that they had potential exposure to someone who tested positive for COVID-19. The ladies who were part of the ensemble cast who attended the world premiere of Eternals in Los Angeles, California. And in a statement released by Disney, they said that talents have tested negative. But out of caution, they are pivoting to virtual appearances without, rather than in-person events. Wow! 
Wow, another good role for Uma Thurman. She will play Ariana Huffington. <laughs> Uma Thurman has been chosen to play as Ariana Huffington in Showtime series Super Pumped. Ding, ding, ding. Ariana is a co-founder of the Huffington Post who was an Uber board member. The series is about the roller coaster ride, the ups and downs experiences by the transportation company Uber, and it's still starting. According to Variety, Uma will be joined by Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Kyle Chandler. The release date is yet to be announced, and Uma, of course, uh, we do know her from Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill, and so many great films. Anyway, guys, we're halfway on the show. We just want to say hi to the All in Addicts, the OMJ supporters. Hello. <laughs> we're 4 15 p.m. on One News with replays at 10 p.m. on 1PH. And, of course, catch us on Facebook as well as on television. And we do have the One News.ph, the tech site for that, powered by Phil Star. You can check that out. OMG! Queen Elizabeth was told by the doctors to take a break. Ding, ding, ding. Queen Elizabeth decided to rest for the next few days on advice from doctors. She also canceled the planned visit to Northern Ireland. Buckingham Palace said. Ding, ding, ding. The palace did not say why the queen needs to rest, but said the 95-year-old queen is in good spirits. <laughs> rest well, you need that queen. So, of course, Her Majesty first got the throw the throne at the age of 25 and has reigned for almost seven decades or 70 years making her the world's longest reigning monarch <laughs> wow 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 <laughs> kanye west officially changes his name to yay a California state court has granted Kanye West's petition to legally change his name to Ye. This happened two months after the singer actually filed a petition for a name change due to what he says are personal reasons. Actually, the singer has been using Ye even before. It is the title of his eighth album in 2018, which debuted in number one at the Billboard Hot 200. It can be remembered how he said in a previous interview after the release of that album that Ye was a reference to a biblical term meaning you. There you go. Yay. <laughs> All right. So number three. <laughs> Big news for Philippine cinemas. We'll see you in November. <laughs> but with that, Dune is the film that is set to open in the Philippines. <laughs> 19 months and more. After the closure of Philippine cinemas, Warner Brothers Philippines announced that the highly anticipated Dune will open exclusively on Philippine theaters on November 10. <laughs> As what the director of the movie said, it has been made, designed, and dreamed to see to be seen on the big screen. Ding, ding, ding. It stars Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Jason Momoa, and others. And this announcement coincides with a post from Cinema Exhibitors Association of the Philippines, which seems like a comeback for Philippine cinemas. <laughs> also with that, if you do remember, uh, MMFF, we said earlier that will be full-on theaters only. Are you excited to watch the big screen? Uh, to be in the big screen, rather. Uh, I mean, in, in the cinema to watch the big screen. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. But anyway, you get the point, right? Because we're excited for our popcorns. And of course, 30% will be vax people. But we do hope the safety of uh, the country will, will improve. So anyway, guys. But do you also have reservations? Let us know. Share your thoughts. Well, is Facebook rebranding with a new name? What? Really? What? Why? Is Facebook no longer Facebook next week? According to The Verge, Facebook is planning to rebrand itself with a name focused on Metaverse. Ding, ding, ding. The new name will be announced next week and no comment from Facebook yet regarding the issue of changing its name, but it's all over social media and syempre, lahat ng fans nag, ano, no, nag suggest book face, Facegram, Facegram, free face, free talk, TikTok. <laughs> Let's see what the new name will be. But I noticed Instagram looks like TikTok. Just like what IG stories did with Snapchat. Ding, ding, ding. I don't know, guys. Oh, Kim Sonho issues apology after controversies about him and ex-girlfriend. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, a lot of people are sad about the hometown cha-cha-cha actor Kim Son ho who released a statement of apology after being involved in alleged abortion <laughs> and gaslighting issues with ex-girlfriend. <laughs> the rumor started when a netizen dropped the bomb in an online community platform that a certain K actor asked her to terminate her pregnancy. Many did speculate that she was referring to Kim Seon Ho following the controversies, many ads and endorsements of the actors were canceled. It was also confirmed, though, that he will be leaving the South Korean variety show two days and one night. After all that has happened, reports said that Kim Seon Ho's ex girlfriend received an apology from him and seems like there were indeed some misunderstandings between them. She was sorry that her writing seems to have unintentionally caused damage to many people, especially Kim Seon Ho. Aside from hometown cha cha cha, Kim Seon Ho was known for his hit series Breakout at That, which was startup. Sobrang sad. Grabe. What are your thoughts about that? Let us know. Anyway, guys, before we end, you do know the drill. Stay socially distant, disinfect, get vaccinated, and don't go out unless you have to. Kahit alert level three. Makilista mga countdown, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Grabe yung final number natin, ano? Uh, we have a lot of chica pa for tomorrow. And yes, we're 4.15 p.m. on One News with replays at 10 p.m. on One PH. And One News dot PH, if you want to read the text version of it, comes out an hour after we go live. Also, do follow me on my socials. It's MJ Marfori all across, except for Facebook. You'll see a blue check. MJ Marfori official. I'll see you guys there. We, I talk to you guys there. I'm MJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. Thank you so much for joining us.